Hi, my name is Simon and in this video I'll be going over how you can quickly and accurately create invoices from time that you've logged in Roll. Using Roll to create invoices is really easy um, and should save you some time because you won't have to double handle information. There are two different places where you can create an invoice in Roll, either in the Projects tab or in Quotes and Invoices. I'll first show you how you can create an invoice from the Quotes and Invoices tab. Go to Invoices add invoice and fill in the details select the client that you're invoicing and the project that you're invoicing for this project was created earlier and i've been logging time against it as i've been working on the project now to bring the time logs onto the invoice select import import time select the time logs or select all and you've even got an option to merge into two invoice lines. Two invoice lines because they are two different charge out rates. But for now, I'll bring these time logs as four separate entries. So there you go, four entries for four time logs. This invoice is now ready to be sent to your client. Click approve and send, review the message being sent to the client, review the recipients of the email. By default, Roll will select the primary contact as the recipient of the invoice. You can send the invoice to multiple um, contacts as well as deselecting the primary contact and adding a contact on the fly. And then click send when you're ready. And you're done. The second method of creating an invoice from time logged is to go to the projects tab, select the project that you want to invoice for, go invoices, create invoice, create invoice. And you'll get an invoice that's been pre-populated with the client name and the project name. And to bring on the time logs, simply follow the same steps as before. This time though, I will merge the four entries into two rows. There we go. And you can see here that there's a row for the $150 charge out rate and another one for the $160 charge out rate. And this just cleans up the invoice a little bit. This invoice is now ready to be sent to your client. And as before, um, review the email, so review the message, the recipients of the message, and click send. And you're done. The third and the final method of raising an invoice for time logged is by opening up the project, going into the time tab, clicking invoice actions, and invoicing for all unbilled time. What this will do is give you an invoice that's ready to be sent to your client right away. As you can see, you've got the client name, the project name, and three entries of time logs. And you can just go approve and send. And you'll be done. As you can see, this is the fastest way of creating an invoice for unbilled time, but unfortunately you will be foregoing the merge option. So there you have it. Those are the three ways that you can quickly raise an invoice um, from time logged and roll, you can see that the import button helps streamline the entire process as well as ensuring accuracy between um, when you're logging time and when you're actually invoicing your client. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.